Back in the day, 1977, when the Atari 2600 was invented, this input terminal was on the back of every television. It was there because that's how you connected your antenna. When cable television became possible, they used the same connector. And when other accessories became more popular with consumers, the connector was used again. You'd see this on the back of VCRs. It was the method through which the Atari 2600, the ColecoVision, the Coleco Gemini, this was the primary method with which they connected to television sets. Most importantly, for consumers, it combined both video and audio into one cable. Basically, your Atari was broadcasting a signal, an RF signal, from itself on channel 3 or whatever you selected out to the television set. These days, we tend to think of it as a really terrible way to connect a device to a television set, but it really is just about tuning the television set to the device. If you do that well, you can get a pretty good clear picture through the RF input terminal on a television set. It's just a little tough.